Alright, so the purpose of this video is to try to get you started writing a guessing game program in Python. Um, this program assumes that um, either because you've been assigned it in school or just because you feel like doing it, you need to write a guessing game um, such, as, such as this, where the computer will choose a random number between 1 and 100, and then whoever is using the computer will try to guess that number. Um, ideally, the computer will give you some feedback to um, to help you figure out what the right answer is. Um, and eventually, when we play the game, uh, it'll look something like this that you see in the sample session. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, if we go to our programming environment, Python, um, we the first thing we need to do um, in, in our program uh, is type import random. This just brings into the computer program whatever the computer needs to choose a random number. The next thing is to give the random number that the computer chooses a name. Um, this name can be whatever you want it to be, but uh, it, when you're naming things in a programming environment, it's usually helpful for the name to ref like describe what the what the thing is. So, for example, I'm going to call this um, computer number um, to refer to the number that the computer has chosen. And in Python, when we want to define what this name um, refers to within the program, we use an equal sign. So we're going to say computer number um, equals random dot rand int. Um, this uh, instructs the computer to basically assign a random number between one and 100 and call that random number computer number. Um, while we're writing the program we're gonna wanna know what this number is that the computer has chosen um, so we're gonna wanna get it to print that number. The way to do this is just say print uh, computer number. Remember computer number refers to the number that the computer has chosen I'm going to go ahead and save this and then I'm going to run it uh, to test whether it's working. Um, as you can see over here in the shell, the computer has assigned a random number that is between 1 and 100 to this name, computer number, and then when I asked it to print computer number, it did that. In this, in, in this case now, the name computer number is assigned to this particular number 81 and if I ask it to print computer number again it's going to print 81 again but we could uh, run the module again and it would assign a totally different number um, to that value again print if I print computer number hopefully it's going to say 34 now that it has assigned the number 34 to the name computer number um, we're also going to do this if you want to if you want to print like just some text into your program uh, to tell someone what's going on who is using the program then you use quotes. So you use the same print command but you use quotes right after it um, and let's see uh, this assignment asked us to say time to play a guessing game well, sure why not time to play a guessing game I'm gonna use an exclamation point the next thing we're going to want to do is ask whoever's, whoever is using the program to make a guess of um, what this number is. Um, and the way we do that is using the same equal sign. Um, I'm going to assign a value to this name. Again, I've just chosen this name um, as something that's going to help me remember what, what it is. Um, but then I use this equal sign to give it a value. Since we want the whoever's using the program to input this value, we're going to use an input command followed by a parentheses and we're going to say enter, oh sorry, we need quotes to ask a question of whoever's using the um, program. We're going to say enter a number between 1 and 100 um, and then close the parentheses. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, just just for now, uh, let's try this out again. I'm going to save it and run it in the module. 
All right, it assigns a number um, or to computer number that's 59, and I'm going to enter my own number that is 78, and then it prints it. Great, so everything's working all right. I don't actually want this to be done within the program, um, so let's take it out. It was just there to, to test things. Um, the next thing that we're going to do within the program is uh, to use a conditional statement. Um, the first conditional statement we're going to use is if. And the purpose of a conditional statement within a programming language um, is to basically ask a question within the program and depending on the answer to that question do one thing or another. In this particular case the question we want to ask is is the guess number equal to the computer number? In Python specifically um, we use the equal sign to define things. That is, we, the guess number we defined as the number that the that the uh, whoever's using the program has has inputted. Um, we can't use the equal sign to ask that question: Is this number equal to this number? So we use a different value. Um, if guess number, uh, not a different value, a different command. We use two equal signs to ask the question is this thing over here um, the same as this thing over here? In this case, the question is, is, is the guess number equal to the computer number? Any conditional statement within Python is followed by a colon. Um, and when you hit return, you'll see that the new line has been indented. Anything that, that is indented on that new line is the thing that the computer is going to do if the answer to this question is yes. In this case, I want the computer to, um, if I got the answer right, print you win, for example. Um, and we can go ahead and test this right now. Um, let's try running the program. Oh, the computer guessed, uh, the computer um, chose the number 1, and if I enter the number 1, it does this. Now, what happens if I run the module and the computer chooses 1? If I enter some other number, um, and this is not true, that is, if the guess number is not equal to the computer number, Python doesn't have any idea what to do, so it just sits there. I mean, if it doesn't have any instructions for what to do if this conditional statement is not true. So we're going to have to introduce that as well. Um, we're going to use another conditional statement, and we're going to say um, if guess number is not equal to computer number. In Python, we do this with an exclamation point and then an equal sign. Um, then we wanted to do something else. Let's say um, you lose. This is a little mean, but we're just testing things out for now. Um, so let's try... Okay, the computer has guessed 71. I'm going to guess 89. And because the guess number was not equal to the computer number, it typed this thing. If I had typed 71, it would have printed you win instead. Um, now, there's a couple things. We're, we've gotten started already, um, and hopefully this has given you uh, something to think about. I'm not going to finish the program for you here um, on this video um, because I want you to use what we've done already um, to think about how to make the program a little better. But there are a few things I need to show you still to uh, get you on your way. Um, if we think about what our program does not do yet, um, one of them is to is to use more complicated um, comparisons, that is, comparison questions, um, than just is it equal to or is it not equal to. Um, if we want to give feedback like uh, the number was too high or the number that you guessed was too low, we're going to need things like greater than and less than. 
Um, you can figure this out on your own. If you go to, say, Google, um, and you type, let's see, greater than Python, um, you can figure out exactly the instructions that Python needs in order to um, uh, give give this kind of feedback. In this case, uh, we want to we want to use this one if the value is less than, and we want to use this one if the value is greater than. Let's go in to our program and look at how we would change our value. Um, rather than just saying you lose um, let's give the program let's let's give the user more information um, I'm not gonna tell you how to do that um, but I think that you can figure out how to change uh, this value here to give more feedback like too high or too low um, you're gonna need multiple conditional statements um, and when you, when you do that you can just copy and paste um, depending on how many uh, you think that you need. Um, I'm going to keep it like this for now um, just so I can show you one last thing which is a while statement. It's another conditional statement just like if it's going to ask a question but in this case instead of just saying if this is true then do this. It's going to say, while this is true, continue to do this. The purpose of this is to allow the user to not just make one guess, but to make multiple guesses, as long as it's true that the guess number is not equal to the computer number. We want the user to continue to make guesses. So we can say, while guess number is not, is not equal to computer number, uh, we would like you to do this. That is, we want the computer to do exactly the same thing that it did up here. That is, ask the user to enter a number. Um, but we want to we want it to do that over and over again. Um, so let's go ahead and try this. Um, if we run the module here, it's uh, guess a number. Or it's, it's come up with a number 56. I'm going to guess 89 again. And it tells me I lost, but then it asks me again. Uh, let's try 34 this time. Hmm. There's a problem here. Um, that is, it did ask me what the number was, and in fact, it will continue to ask me what the number was. Um, and I can continue to enter guesses. But the problem is, it's only asking me what the number was. It's not doing this part that is comparing my number to the computer number. In fact, even if I guess the right number, it still doesn't tell me I won. It does, however, stop asking me for um, my own guesses. The pr I'm going to leave you to figure out the answer to this um, to this problem to figure out how, how to solve this problem on your own um, but the problem is I'm gonna give you a hint in here this part of the program is correct um, but it's missing something that is it's missing instructions um, that tell the tell the computer to again compare my guess to the computer's guess um, and give me feedback so hopefully these clues will get you closer to um, completing this program, um, and I'll see you in the next video.